Let's look at the freezing diagram of water, which shows the uh, relationship between temperature and time. Again, note that we are talking of pure water without any uh, solutes. Let's consider that water is initially at room temperature and we measure the temperature of water as heat is removed. The temperature decreases in water with increasing removal of heat as shown by this line. The initial drop in temperature from point A represents removal of sensible heat. By definition, any change in sensible heat is observed by a change in temperature. On a quantitative basis, sensible heat removal from point A is 1 calorie per gram degree C or 4.184 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Now you see a small kink in the temperature plot. First we see a small drop in temperature to Ts from 0 degree C and then the temperature increases to point B. This part of the curve represents supercooling. As we observed in some of the previous modules, a reduction in temperature of water below 0 degree C or supercooling is necessary to initiate the nucleation process. Once nuclei larger than the critical radius are formed due to either homogeneous or heterogeneous nucleation, the crystals then begin to grow resulting in the release of heat of crystallization. The heat of crystallization is what causes the temperature to rise from Ts to Tf. Tf is the freezing point and in this case 0 degree Celsius for water. Once the temperature of water reaches Tf, further removal of heat does not reduce the temperature. Instead, more water is converted into ice. This process of water conversion into ice continues until the entire amount of water is converted to ice. A total of 79.7 .7 calories per gram or 333.7 kilojoules per kilogram must be removed to completely convert water into ice. Because this change of phase occurs at a constant temperature of 0 degrees Celsius, the heat removed is called latent heat of fusion. Now quantitatively, latent heat of fusion is substantial when compared with sensible heat for a typical freezing situation when initial temperature of the product is around 5 to 20 degrees Celsius. Therefore the time involved in removing latent heat is quite long compared with the removal of sensible heat. Note that when we remove or add sensible heat to a substance we are able to measure the change in temperature in other words sense the temperature change. So let us quantitatively compare sensible heat with latent heat. Sensible heat Q is estimated by multiplying the specific heat of water that is uh, Cp which is expressed in joules per kilogram degree Celsius and mass that is in kilograms and change in temperature in degree Celsius. We use the equation Q equals mCp delta T. So let's assume that the initial temperature of water is 80 degrees C. Thus to decrease the temperature of 1 kilogram of water from 80 degrees C to 0 degrees C, assuming the average specific heat to be 4.175 kilojoules per kilogram degree C, we can uh, determine Q as 1 kilogram for mass times 4.175 175 kilojoules per kilogram degree C for specific heat and 80 minus 0 for delta T. We get 334 kilojoules. So that is the sensible heat removed for lowering 
te temperature of water from 80 degrees C to 0 degrees C. To convert water at 0 degrees C to ice, the latent heat removal equals 333.7 kilojoules. So we see that both the heat values are similar, uh, sensible heat and latent heat. So what we find from this example is that the removal of latent heat to convert water into ice is equivalent to changing the heat content of water from 0 degree C to 80 degree C. So as you can see, latent heat removal in a freezing process can represent a substantial amount of heat. Once all the water is converted into ice, additional removal of heat results in a decrease in temperature to point D. The specific heat of ice is uh, 2.05 kilojoules per kilogram degree C. So to sum up, the freezing diagram shows us the amount of sensible heat removed first from the water, then the latent heat removed during the conversion of water into ice and finally the removal of sensible heat from ice from 0 degree C to some final temperature.